In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Plane tool and a box and the Properties menu and explore a little bit about the concept of friction. So first of all, I'll select the Plane tool. I'll draw me a plane. I'm going to get way outside so I can make it about 16 degrees. I'd kind of like it about 16. Right there. I'll select it and I'd like to send it to the back so I'll double click on it get the uh, selection menu I'll move selected to the back click off and actually I'll take the move tool and I'll move it over here a little bit okay so that's a plane that's at 60 degrees or 16 degrees I can click here and you see it says 15 I somehow missed my 16 I'll go back out here and get my 16 there it is so now I have it at 16 degrees I'll click off and I'm going to create a box and I'm going to go into the properties menu and I'm going to make that box wood better select it first make it wood and I want to give it a mass of say one kilogram like that then I'm going to run the simulation let the box fall down I'm going to move it up a little bit like that that's the position I'd like to have it in then I'm going to stop the simulation Now I'm going to close the box menu, unselect it. I'm going to pick out the rotation tool. And what I want to do is rotate this plane until the box starts to slide, until the angle at which the plane meets the ground is sufficient enough for the box to overcome the force of friction. So I'll click here and I'll start rotating. There's 20 degrees. You know what I forgot to do? Forgot to start the simulation. So I'll begin again. Now I'm rotating at 20 degrees, 21, 22, 23, 24, and right at 24, 24.1 degrees, the box starts to slide. So I'll stop and I'll go back to where it was at 16 degrees. Let's double check. Aha, 16 degrees. I'll select the box and now I want to increase its mass. So let's double its mass. So there it is, two kilograms. Click off, click off. Now, I won't forget to start the simulation this time. So start the simulation. I still have the rotation tool and I'm going to start slowly rotating that plane and right there at 24 degrees, 24.1 degrees, even though the box is twice as massive, it also starts to slide. I'll go back, I'm going to select the box and I'm going to double that mass again to 4 kilograms. Close that, click off, start the simulation, and I'm going to rotate again. There's 20, 22, 24.1, and that box is sliding again. Wow, you would think that you could surely make that box heavy enough so that it would stay stuck to that plane, wouldn't you? Let's go back. I'm going to increase it. Oh, I had 4.5, I guess. So I'm going to raise it up to double, let's say, 4. I'm going to raise it up to 8 kilograms. Collect off. Be sure I have that 8. I have it 8. I'm going to click off there, start the simulation, close that menu, and I know somewhere around 24 it starts to slide and there at 24.1 it starts to slide wow now that's interesting no matter 
apparently how uh, massive I make that box I'm going to go back to the beginning here it still wants to slide at the same angle so let's take it up to 16 kilograms and see what happens close that click off the box start the simulation get the rotation tool I'm going to try to sneak up on 24 degrees 23 and a half I got 24.1 and that box is sliding again no matter what the mass we put on it we did one kilogram two four eight sixteen kilograms it still slides down the plane at the same angle and I wonder one more time let's try to get it up to 32 and see what happens well it wants to go to 30 35 uh, better try it at 30 okay close that box select off start the simulation now I'm going to rotate and try to sneak up on 24 degrees it's still stuck to the plane 23.9 still stuck not moving 24.2 24.1 so somewhere right after or at 24 degrees I can hypothesize that no matter what the mass of that box I can make it as as massive as I would like it's still going to slide down that plane interesting well this is just one of the activities that you can d design and do with Algodoo. So remember, anytime we're playing with Algodoo, building something, exploring some scientific concept, hopefully we're always having fun.